Thank you for staying with us. You are on the station where you look and live. We are still with Susan. She's telling us an incredible journey of her life, her career, everything that just transpired in her life. And it's so, so amazing to just see how she's transitioning from one level to another in clearly an indication that God is a God of one glory to another. Thank you so much, Susan, for staying with us. Um, I'm just in, in, interested, before we even talk about your major break, mm -hmm. There are times you've talked about writing letters to God mm -hmm. when he when you thought he wasn't listening, maybe he would see. Right now, in this day and age we live, when girls come to such situations, we have this culture that is going on where they look for older men that are rich to finance their living. Like what 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 was there something like that during your time and how did you not go into that? All right. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Um, it's a very, it's a real temptation because mm -hmm. you're meeting these people. You're young, you have problems, they are offering. But you know, I had got, I, I got saved just before I left high school. Mm -hmm. And so I knew the Lord and I knew I was discipled yeah. by uh, a pastor in KEG Buruburu. And you know, a lot of the things they used to talk about, especially for young girls, mm -hmm. is issues to do with uh, sexual immorality, how to avoid it, how bad it is, how it's a sin against your own body. They really used to go on and on and on, mm. that even the thought of it would not even cross your mind. Mm -hmm. But then again, eh, the, the thought of having been brought up by my own father the strictness that he brought us up with yeah. in itself even though we, i was not living with him yeah. you could actually see him <laughs> there yeah uh, but um i think other than the other people outside outside there it's just knowing that in itself it's not a solution yeah. getting somebody who is giving you money basically it is somebody who wants to use you mm. not to mention that you're also using him Mm -hmm. because you're not interested in him, you're right. just interested in his money. And I've never wanted that, apparently. Mm -hmm. I've never wanted it. Yeah. So as much, I would choose the harder path yeah. that is more sustainable than the one that looks easier. Mm -hmm. But then how long would you do that? That's I always would ask myself, how long would you run with it? Mm. What risk are you ready to take with this mm. kind of thing? So I didn't go that route. It was never an option. It was not an option. Yeah. It was uh, not. And so uh, to, sticking back to your career, mm -hmm. when would you say was your biggest break? Like when did you know uh, finally I've hit gold? I know right <laughs> now you're still trying to strike gold, but yeah. when, was it, when was that time that you're like, hey, Appa, ni yeah. uh, uh, I think along the way because of the consistency, it, mm -hmm. you know, selling, or doing any job requires consistency. Mm -hmm. If you have to be a master of anything, you have to commit to it. And I committed to selling insurance. I didn't even start any other business on the side, like the way you work, you're selling jewelry, you're selling shoes, you're selling. And I remember people would approach me, now that you're a salesperson, can you sell, uh, you, you are the best person for this multi-level marketing. Mm -hmm. They would come and tell you, they want to recruit you. Mm. But I realized you cannot go with two different things mm. to somebody and sell. Oh. Somebody will dismiss you. You have to keep at one. You either decide it's this one and stay on course. And that's what gave me a breakthrough. So people started identifying me with this job. I, prou I proudly wore the badge. I was proud to be a financial advisor. Um, with experience you learn it's really a good thing for somebody to advise you financially to mm -hmm. tell you about 15 years to come to tell you about uh, 10 years to come to tell you about even the end of the year how do you save money for that I actually started enjoying it in fact I now stopped thinking that I should be somewhere else and mm -hmm. it brought results started meeting good clients uh, my income grew and, but uh, I think the major breakthrough is um, when I met in 2016. Um, you know, they are, I've told you before the, all the hearts that mm. you're going through. You're going through this pain. You lost your brother here. 
your parents are unwell, you're taking care of them, your siblings have grown, mm -hmm. they are not participating financially in the family as you expected. Yeah. So you realize, ah, Allah, you, these guys are going on with their lives. Mm -hmm. You, you're still thinking about, about them. Yeah. And you know, it was hurting actually. Mm -hmm. It actually felt bad, and it started feeling like I, I was betrayed. I thought we were supporting each other, <laughs> Kube. I'm the only one here. You guys, when you make a breakthrough, you go. Yeah. Um, that among the other parts of going through rejection. And I realized I was carrying a lot of pain mm. that I was not dealing with. It's like sweeping it under the carpet. Yeah. And the fact that I can smile throughout, mm. that's yeah. the other problem. That's Everybody true. thinks that you're fine. You know, yeah. you're never crashing, you're never, but you're really crashing. Yeah. So I met, um, I met this um, a counselor for the first time. You know, if people think counselors are people, you see them when things are really thick. Mm -hmm. But I think it's a very good thing to be mentored by somebody. Mm -hmm. So I met um, Kamau Godo. He, he leads in Vigorit. Mm -hmm. And so we sat with him through some weeks. And he would talk about um, your life journey. Where have you come from? What have you been going through? What kind of things are hurting you? Because those very things are the ones that derail you if you don't deal with them. So I realized I was carrying a lot of pain in my heart. You, 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 you have not yet dealt with whatever you felt as a child your father could have done better. You have not dealt with what people have made you feel as you walk, um, as you walk through life. You know, there are people who openly reject you, by the way. They tell you they don't want to associate with you. Okay, not just because of the job, but many other things. Mm -hmm. So we walked through that journey with him and he you know, I realized at the end of it, dealing with pain is very, very important because it set my heart free. Mm, wow. And uh, in the same year, my dad was very sick, that 2016. So it was very bad in some at that time. And when we went through that, uh, my heart was free. It's like you have laid down burdens. Mm -hmm. Now you're ready to fly. Mm. But in 2017, the beginning of 2017, I lost my dad which was another setback, setback yeah. but uh, because I had dealt with the initial pain, it was not like, like uh, scratching a wood. It was like a fresh heat, yeah. which was not so bad. It would heal. We had worked with him. He got to know the Lord, and that was a beautiful thing. Mm -hmm. um, and I was able to, of course, you keep dealing with it, but it, it's, um, I've been able to deal with it. Uh, but 2017, I had now a desire to get to the top. Yeah. I was like, I'm comfortable here, mm. but why can't I be at the top? Yeah. One of my clients actually asked me, he's, he's a very, he's, he's, a, he's a renowned cardiologist. I went to see him and he told me, ah, he was looking at the newspaper and there were names of the people who had won the awards. And he asked, by the way, Susan, how come I've not seen your name in this paper? Mm -hmm. I was like, it was there, but it's a picture that was not there. I was like, why aren't you number one? Wow. What, what does the number one have that you don't have? Remember, this is your client. Mm. So you, how do you explain to him yeah. all these things? But, and he left because he's busy. Yeah. And it left me thinking, why, by the way, why was in time number one? Yeah. By the way, what does number one have that I don't have? Yeah. And I went out there and said, I'm going to give it my all. Mm -hmm. And I give it my all. In 2017, I really improved. But the major breakthrough was 2018. Mm -hmm. I got to be among the very top in the industry. Wow. We were featured in the newspaper. Wow. Congratulations. Um, I got um, a chance to lead a team. And uh, it's good to be a mentor to others. I was mentored. Now I mentor. Wow. And that is where we are. Wow, mm -hmm. that's really wow. yeah. So if you look at the newspaper, the the, the Association of Kenya Insurers run, mm -hmm. you will see my name and your picture and my picture <laughs> <laughs> in this in this year awards. Wow. So gearing uh -huh. to to still do there's always room yes. for improvement. That's true. And uh, I say, for His glory, I will do anything. Amen. If it means crossing the river, uh. I will cross it. Powerful. If he is glorified, mm. I will do it.
Amen. Amen. And such are the testimonies we want when our people, mm -hmm. Christians, are yeah. up there leading the pack That's true. for the glory of God. And, and Susan, as you're talking, there's probably someone that is watching us today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And probably they're at a place where maybe they missed uh, uni, like you said, mm -hmm. by a point. Mm -hmm. Or maybe they can't e be able to afford mm -hmm. probably completely school fees for university. And so they're struggling. And their their earnings are like like you said you're in a SQ where you're using someone <laughs> else's or they're actually living in people's homes or yeah. they need to move out. Mm. What would you tell someone like that? How consistent should they be? I think what I would tell someone, like I always say, the problem in Kenya is not unemployment. Mm. And you know, the politicians will always run that for, for their advantage. The truth of the matter is that there is always work. Jobs may be less, mm -hmm. but work is always there. And that is what Jesus said. Mm -hmm. The harvest is ripe. Mm -hmm. The workers are few. Mm -hmm. It applies across the board, whether in the church to witness to the, to the, the non-believers mm -hmm. or in the workplace, the people to work. Mm -hmm. The people with jobs are many. The people who want a job are many. Mm. People who want to work mm. are few. Mm -hmm. And that is a mindset that people need to change. Because if you look at most of the companies, they will look for salespeople. But when you open that newspaper and see salespeople, you close. Yeah. And you say, that is not for you. Mm -hmm. But um, people need to change their thinking. Because work will always be there. Mm. Because somebody needs to clean your house, that is work. Yeah. Somebody needs to make your hair, that is work. Somebody needs to make your, to, to do makeup, that is work. It is not a job, but they will earn money. Somebody needs to sell, and people are always selling to you, like somebody sold to me to come to this studio. <laughs> people are always selling, really. <laughs> because selling, everyone should learn to sell. Yeah. Your children are selling to you every day. Why do you buy them those things? They are selling to you. Mm -hmm. But you don't realize that you're also selling to people. It's only that when now you wear the badge of a salesperson, people are shy. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's a lot of work to yeah. be done. Yeah. In these companies, in the insurance industry, they are always looking for people to do sales. The penetration is low. <laughs> the workers are few yeah. because everyone wants a job. Mm -hmm. So how do we get jobs unless we do the major work that bring revenue? Yeah. Yes. And also maybe someone is listening to us, I mean, watching us and also listening. Mm -hmm. And they are doing insurance at the very low levels. Mm -hmm. And as you say, there's a lot of rejection that comes with the job. Mm -hmm. How do you, do you fully fit that cap on and embrace the job? How, how do you do that? How were you able to do that? First of all, you need to love your job. Do not let anybody tell you that it's not a good job. You sell to yourself that job first mm. and see whether that's the thing you want to do. If you can do that, the rest is nothing. Mm. The problem is that uh, a lot, you listen to what everyone else is saying other than your heart. If you know that's what you need to do, do it with all your might. Mm. Whatever you fight to do, do, do it, it with all your might. Mm. So somebody needs to keep at it Wake up early. Don't take your job lightly. Don't be the one we send with the bills to everybody. For everyone's bill, they are sending you to pay this, pay that, because you don't have to report at 8 a.m. and leave at 5. Mm -hmm. So take your job seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, do it with dignity. Be honest. Um, don't lie to customers. Mm -hmm. Don't uh, misrepresent. Tell them the truth and learn. And be disciplined. If you're working in an organization, be disciplined. Mm. Discipline will take you where even talent will never take you. Wow. Mm. Wow. And I think one of the things that, are, that is coming so strongly is whatever you're doing, sell it to yourself first. Yeah. If you're able to convince yourself, then you're able to make the rest uh, convinced. And Susan, you came at a very opportune time. We mm -hmm. are in our Easter season, mm -hmm. celebrating the death and resurrection of Christ. Any message? Uh, seasonal greetings and as well any message that you could put out to our audience regarding his death and resurrection. Definitely. Yeah. Um, so 
Easter. Easter is probably, or not even probably, it is actually the greatest celebration that a Christian should consider because um, if you look at what the cross is in Numbers 21, the way the people of Israel were walking in the wilderness and they were beaten by snakes and what they were told by Moses is if you're beaten, look up to the bronze snake that mm. he lifted in the, in the wilderness and if they look to it whatever venom was in their body would live. Yeah. They would now heal and they would live. Mm. And that's the message of the cross even today. Because you're walking in a society where people are hurt, where people are in pain, where people have been beaten by many things. And the message of the cross is that Jesus came so that we may live. Mm. And uh, if, if you're going through, um, if you've been through many difficult times, if you have been living in sin, if you feel lost, if you feel like you have suffered the fate of this world, mm -hmm. look and live. The mm. cross is still there yeah. for us yes. to look and live. Yes. That is the message I would say. And happy Easter to everyone. Thank you so much. And yeah. no wonder even our tagline here at Hope TV is look and live. And that is the message we are leaving you today with. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in. Thank you so much for watching. This is a station where you look and leave you have been with me maria mako until next thursday happy easter to you and your loved ones god bless